Hi all, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. It's a Jelvix machine learning expert with you today. And while I'd like to remain anonymous, my identity is the only thing I'll hide. And I'll gladly share in-depth insights about machine learning. So whether you're interested in a career in machine learning, or you're an employer considering hiring an ML expert, you'll find it useful both ways. We'll share the requirements to ML engineer at the end. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. So from my experience, machine learning engineering is a rewarding field that offers the chance to work with cutting edge technologies, solve complex problems, and innovate solutions with profound impacts across industries, from autonomous vehicles to predictive business models. However, I should warn you, machine learning might not be the right career choice if you have a limited interest in mathematics and programming, lack patience for iterative experimentation, struggle with adapting to rapid technological changes, or find abstract thinking and problem solving challenging. In this video, I'd like to provide an example of the latest AI project I completed at Jelvix, a sentiment analysis model for a large e-commerce business that classifies customer reviews as positive, negative, or neutral. Now, from a high-level perspective, this project involves several stages, from initial research to model training and fine-tuning. But don't worry, we'll cover them all in more detail. But before we go on, please note, AI projects can vastly vary based on the scale, domain-specific challenges, regulatory requirements, and client needs. Therefore, it's not a universal framework, but it could definitely give a clear picture of what machine learning is all about. Now, to dig deeper into my work scope for this project as a machine learning engineer, let me pull up my calendar. I'll guide you all the way through a couple of days of my work. So let's say it's Monday and the first project day. I start my day by synchronizing with my data scientist colleague, who has completed dataset collection, pre-processing, NLP technique exploration, algorithm selection based on project requirements and data characteristics, and algorithm testing. Throughout the project, I closely collaborate with my data scientist teammate to ensure a smooth transition from data analysis and model development to technical implementation, optimizing our workflow and project outcomes. I take over the project by configuring the chosen model. Now, at this point, I have to decide on the number of layers, hidden units, attention heads, and other hyperparameters. After that, I initialize the model weights using Xavier or He. Then I move to model training, which starts with setting up the environment. I also need to choose the appropriate hardware for computation based on the required complexity. In this case, the GPU could do its work to handle the computation. Then I install the necessary software dependencies. I use TensorFlow and its high-level interfaces for deep learning but PyTorch and Keras are other viable alternatives for some machine learning engineers. Once I ensure compatibility with other libraries and tools, the time comes to the training loop. As you see, each section is a sequence of method calls delegated to the group of callbacks. Some extra ones I use are forward pass, loss calculation, and backward pass. To train the model efficiently, I divide the dataset into many batches for memory efficiency and process them iteratively through the model over multiple epochs to facilitate learning from the entire dataset. The training loop involves a range of implementing strategies, such as data augmentation to enhance data diversity, regularization to prevent outfitting, and dynamic adjustment of learning rates for efficient optimization. Then I evaluate the model with metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. Additionally, I analyze confusion matrices to gain insights into classification errors, enabling me to refine the model further. I dive into model fine-tuning, where I adjust hyperparameters. This step is essential in deep learning because it allows us to search for the optimal combination of hyperparameters that significantly impact a model's performance, such as learning rates, batch sizes, regularization strengths, and network architectures. Thus, I experiment with different training settings and conduct performance feedback sessions to analyze and enhance the model's overall effectiveness. Now, the next day, I need to work on enhancing the model's capabilities by integrating advanced methods. There is quite a lot to choose from, aimed at delivering more powerful, robust, and versatile models that can tackle complex tasks. I also need to test out the model's performance to ensure its robustness and generalizability. The cross-validation technique does the job well here. By doing it, I will partition the dataset into multiple subsets, called folds, and iteratively train the model on a combination of these folds while evaluating its performance on the remaining fold. At this stage, I also closely work together with my data scientist teammate to design appropriate cross-validation strategies and interpret the results. After that's done, I can start preparing for deployment, which involves developing APIs or interfaces for seamless integration of sentiment analysis into existing systems. I also pass over the documentation creation to a data scientist who will draft the entire process, including data sources, pre-processing steps, model architecture, and evaluation results. I also collaborate with him at this stage, ensuring all the required data is provided and documented. So here's a wrap-up of a couple of project days as a machine learning engineer. The next steps for this project would be preparing a client presentation and a stakeholder communication for further improvements. 
Once all changes are final, I set up monitoring systems to track the model's performance in production, establish alert mechanisms to promptly address any arising issues, and add extra notes for future enhancement plans and updates to the model. So as you can see, the job of a machine learning expert requires a multifaceted approach and a diverse skill set. I hope you liked the video. To conclude, check out a generalized list of requirements for a machine learning candidate. Pause the video to read in detail. And if you're curious about other tech roles, don't miss our video about embedded software engineer position. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.